Welcome to the Mile High Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Daniel Knowles, coming to you from an altitude of 5,280 feet, uh, where Jake Hansen, our guest, Dr. Jake Hansen usually lives, but right now he's at sea level at Cancun, and he's taking <laughs> some valuable time out of his trip there and uh, his business and pleasure trip uh, there to uh, reach out to the Mile High audience. As people know, Dr. Jake Hansen is a phenomenal chiropractor, practices in Castle Rock, and has been a Mile High MC for many years and also Mile High attendee for many years. And he has, uh, it's contributed to his, his, his life, his personal professional growth. And we're going to be talking about all those areas. And so let you get to know, uh, get to know who Jake Hansen is. So thank you for joining us today, Dr. Jake. Danny, very, very warm, very, very amazing. Welcome as always. One of the things I've always loved about you and Rochelle is that you, you guys always put other people first. And I love that because one of my speaking coaches, Joe Weldon teaches, he says, when it comes to our interactions throughout the day, there's only one type of uh, radio station that people like, and it's <laughs> WIIFM. It's what's in it's for me. And you guys do that so masterfully. And, and you guys, I am here for you. Docs, I am here for you. I am here to serve you. I'm here to help you and to elevate you even more. Well, and uh, a big thing is authenticity. And we're really grateful Absolutely. for that. Uh, and everybody connected to Mile High. Now, Jake, I got to ask you a very crucial question before we delve deeper, which is what has been your favorite Mile High theme? Oh, I Star Wars, um, uh, the Jet or the chiropractor, I strike, you know, or what was it? Jet, it Star wasn't Wars, there's a Return of the Chiropractor. Return of the Chiropractor. You think uh, that's your I, top favorite one? That was one of my favorite ones. Um, because I was in a state at that point where it always depends on the state we were in, right? I was in a state where I was beginning to really develop my own practice going out on my own. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been practicing for years before. And so I had gone with a huge purpose, a massive purpose outside of, I want to, you know, build relational capital. I want to become an even better chiropractor an even better human being. Um, that one helped me on both fronts, but truly my personal level, I thought after this, I was a far better you know, husband and father after, after attending that one. Um, that was one of my absolute favorites. Avengers uh, was an absolute <laughs> best. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could go in or like Indiana Jones. Um, <laughs> we, but we've everyone. Done, we've done, so, but, but, but Star Wars might take the cake for you. It definitely takes the cake for me. And, right. and then, it goes to maybe, show you that. Yeah. We might have to have a Star Wars movie night then in Colorado or something like that. Or, or Star that would be awesome. That would be fun. We'll, we'll do that. So then that's the first question. Now my next question, before we uh, pull the curtain you know, back of, to learn about Jake Hansen, is I usually wear a Mile High t-shirt doing a podcast. Do you prefer this one? Okay. Oh. Or, or should I do this one? Which one should I do for, for Jake Hansen? Oh, so is this a poll for everybody or is this no, a poll just for, for me? now, just for now. I got to change my shirt. Which one do you I'm going to, I'm going to do the uh, matrix for sure. Do the matrix. Or I'll go with Let's, the matrix. All right. Cause that's that, right. that the most recent mile high. So we'll start with matrix and yes. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be announcing the theme for mile high 11 pretty, pretty darn soon, you know, awesome. have, it, have it official. So now, now I look the part. So, you know, talking about <laughs> what you just said, in terms of going out on your own in practice and going from the, um, you know, you were an associate and then you were going on your own. Can you say something about that step in your life, that step of saying, okay, I'm going to venture out um, into opening a practice? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, for, first and foremost, it was when you can really hone in on what it is that you want and laser focus in on what you want then everything starts coming clear. Who can help you get there? When are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Why are you going to do it? But you have to figure out literally what you want. I knew what I wanted originally was I needed knowledge and I needed to be able to truly experience what I what it is I really wanted or not. I definitely have the personality where I can make anything out of anything. Um, I, I, I will try to make anything shine. I'll work with what I've got. Um, but I, that's what I wanted to do originally was gain that knowledge. And then afterwards, I knew for a fact, I, I, it's, it's time for me to do my own thing because I know, and I have I have the personal belief that chiropractors, especially the um, principal chiropractors, need to be the wealthiest people on planet Earth so that we can make the change. We are a, we are a couple of Davids fighting ten thousand Goliaths. 
And we have to be the healthiest, wealthiest known people on planet Earth. And so that's why I wanted to venture on my own. And, uh, and I'll tell you, and I've said it, I've said it countless times, mile high is crucial. Um, it taught me that I needed coaches. It taught me that I needed mentors. It taught me um, that uh, that relational capital is critical with no thought of return. Like, what can I give you instead of getting back? All my uh, all my, my x-ray, Danny, is from mile high. Um, my software is from mile high. My reviews are from mile high. A lot of the, the, the practice building words, verbiage I use is mile high. Um, and, and I'll tell you, and I, and I say this humbly, we are very, very blessed now, um, on countless. I mean, I'm, I'm here in Cancun, um, and to be able to do incredible things with incredible people, have a ton of fun and make a ton of money. And here's the thing about that. Um, something that I get a lot of pain about, um, and I want to see if you can relate to this. It has to do with what you, what you just said. Um, I get a lot of pain about when I see a chiropractor, they could be new in practice. And sadly, you see it when they're 30, 40, 50 years in practice, um, who's barely making ends meet. Yep. Um, and it, and it's, uh, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily think they have to be the wealthiest. However, I, I want them to be prosperous. I want them to be abundant because you have the most valuable healing art in the history of the planet as far as i'm concerned um and you want to if people want to argue with that with me they can however i think it's a most I'll, I'll, valuable I'll stand with you. <laughs> healing art in the history of the planet um and it's and if you've got that in your hands then people should be paying you well for that service and that's a measure of how much you're actually delivering that or not delivering that, or maybe you need don't have the tools to do that. So that's one of the impetuses for Mile High is chiropractors need to come together. They need to have community. They need to have connection. And they need to have the, the philosophy, uh, the vision to go beyond themselves and, and have strategies to help do that successfully congruent or coherent with the principles and philosophy of chiropractic. And when they have those principles and, and philosophy, they're going to do outstanding because there's a world out there with spines distorted. So um, now tell us a little bit about then, you know, practicing in Castle Rock and practicing Colorado. Man, I mean, it has been a dream and it's come fast. Um, we've been able to, uh, I mean, year after year, see even more people than the year before um, and help them on a higher level. And, you know, the more... And, and, I, and if I'm not mistaken, Danny, I think this is a quote from you that I'm going to quote. But um, when you truly study what chiropractic is, chiropractic reveals its true potential and secrets to you. You, be, you think, like, how can I know this even better? Like playing a sport, how can I know this even better than I do now? You will. I mean, that's what being a master of your craft is. And so as I've continually honed my office, because I originally had started um, the school I went to, it taught us how to be a chiropractor, physiopractor, metapractor. And um, so I, I had practiced, but I said, this doesn't make sense. Like this is one I received. Like, why am I adding all these things? And so I literally said, no, chiropractic is everything. It's not just enough. Chiropractic is everything. So as we took everything away, I saw that, wow, people are actually removing true interference from people's nervous systems. Last week alone, we have four practice members say that after several attempts of fertility treatments, we have six that are now pregnant. Um, I mean, and, and we docs, we could always, sh we, there, we could share that, but how cool would it be if next week 12 came back and said that, and then 115 came back and said that, that got what they wanted by simply removing interference. And that's all we're going to do, right? We're going to remove interference and let the body do what it is supposed to do. And it'll function as optimally as it's matter gives it right. Uh, so I've been able to do that. We've been able to grow and I'll, I'll, I'll be pretty transparent, but we've been able to grow our practice every year I've been open by at least quarter of a million, at least, which also then allows me to help even more people. So I can bring on more doctors to help even more people. And our vision isn't stopping there. We have a series of clinics of, of uh, a chiropractic offices that we are going to open up. We have, uh, I've been able to, I've been blessed to be able to share what I share in, in my group. Um, the chiropractic group that I coach, that's, that's, what, that's why I'm here in Cancun is I'm coaching 10 of our docs right now. And we're having a ton of fun while doing it. And I can't wait to hear who and how many people they've been able to help after an event like this. So I, it's only grown because that's where my focus is. It's focused on the people. Um, the other aspect is my team. 
I, I see a lot of docs that really struggle. Like doc, why did, why have I gone through 15 people this year? Like, and I said, well, and I hear that, I hear what they're saying. I'm like, like, is it me or is it them? Like it's you, but we've decided, like we can discover how you can be even better. So I, I love that we can help even more people become incredible chiropractors. And my team, we put our team first. We, we train our team. We love our team. Um, I always say, how, how could I expect someone to carry out my vision, Danny? If I don't even know their vision, right? What is your vision? We, we have a staff member who loves to travel. So some of her bonuses are, are derived from traveling. My associates, one absolutely loves guns and, and uh, smoked meats. <laughs> and the other loves sports. <laughs> um, the other loves disc golf. And so I'm like, okay, how can we tailor a cool thing for them? But these are things, again, that I've been able to learn to run my practice efficiently, which then allows us to help even more people. I, and it's, it's been a dream, man. It has been an absolute blast. Um, I want to give you a flashback, and you helped share that flashback with others, which was there was one year that, um, and you know, each year we, we want to create community at Mile High. Uh, mm -hmm. We want people to be successful. We want them to impact their, commu their community um, with chiropractic. And that spread out from the center of the country of more people changing spines, lives, and minds. And we also want them to have a brotherhood and connection with other chiropractors. And yes. so two of the things that we do each year, as you know, is have an Unsung Hero Award. And we do a um, Vision Award. To, to acknowledge people that have gone above and beyond in, in their vision contribution to chiropractic and expanding it. And also the people that sometimes don't get noticed for the things that they do and to say we noticed it. Um, so here's the thing. There was a time when we gave you the Unsung Hero Award. Do you remember <laughs> that? Yeah, I'm already getting a little teary eyed. I don't know if you can see the, the, right? the red. And, and so, yeah. And so that was because of... Uh, Jorge Cruz, can you share Jorge. a little bit about that? Because that was I'll, amazing, and, and I'll tell really you, amazing. Yeah, my my second mile high I attended, um, because the first year had just blown everything away. So my second mile high, I literally showed up like four hours early, took took the day off practice, and I said, and you and I had talked prior, and I said, hey, what can I do to serve? What do you need done right now? And I don't care what it is, but let me serve. And he said, you know what? I don't have anyone like at the front, front, front of the hotel kind of greeting people, letting us be their first face. I'm like, I'll do it. Right. Absolutely. Um, and then as I was, you know, I was greeting people, sending one way or the other. And and uh, there was a guy, Jorge, that walked in and he had one of the bell carts, gold bell carts. And and he had a full, I mean, to the top with luggage. And um, and there was some nice, really nice luggage. Like I saw like Louis Vuitton. Like I saw, I mean, and so um and he was interesting because he was covered in like paint he had like paint all over him but i'm like dude you got like 40 grand of luggage on your thing so he was walking like part of the thing had fallen off help him put it on and then i started greeting people and then he i saw a wallet on the ground and i thought oh picked it up and i just looked to see who it was i was like oh it's that guy so i walked up to the front and as i opened it up i noticed like it was full of cash like just like i mean it was a big fat you know george costanza you know wallet full of cash and so I said, uh, I said, Jorge, and he turned around and I basically gave it to him. And then he was asking me to one point, he's like, oh, do you work here? I said, oh, no, I'm actually here for a, a life changing worldwide event. I said, the, the world's top healers, top doctors, top mindsets, chiropractors are here right now down that hallway and they're going to be speaking soon. And so I'm, I'm here for the event. And he said, so can anyone go? I said, well, absolutely. I said, you know. Um, it's things that, you know, doctors register for, but I, I would be honored to take you in and let you sit on a couple of ones. I said, specifically, you need to listen from this man, Danny Knowles. And so, um, so I he, didn't realize that came, part. I did not know that part. Yeah. And then <laughs> I, and I'm, I'm trying to remember who else he had heard. I, I'd have to go back and read my, I, I have a little journal. I keep, um, evidence of how awesome life is, I, is what I call it. And, uh, but anyway, so he, he came in and he said, yeah, I'll sit for, you know, I'll sit for one. And he stayed for the rest of the event. And then he and I went out and talked and spoke and, and um, anyway, and then he he shared with me, he's like, do you know how much money I have in here? He's like, it's all, I, I counted. You seem really nice, but I counted. It was over like three grand, if I remember right. He's like, it was a I lot think, of money yeah, in, in a wallet, right? Right. And so he, um, so we started speaking. He asked me about his mother. Say, my mom lives in Mexico. Said, I'm actually, I'm a painter. Um, and I, but I, I, I mean, I, I do something on my own, but I have tons of employees. We're all over kind of the, you know, the West. Um, and so, 
And he, and he said, um, we, we've been trying, we always try to find things to keep our people healthy. You know, I've been very, very blessed to be able to help a lot of people. I said, but do you think you could help my mom? So I shared what was going on. I said, absolutely. She needs a chiropractor. And so I, I did some research, you know, through the IFCO and a few other areas. I was able to find an incredible chiropractor for his mom. And he told me, he's like, you know, she has an old, what's called a lavadero. It's like a, it's an old concrete thing to wash your clothes on, like a washboard. And he said, she can't, she can't wash clothes. She can't bend over. She can't like, her back is just excruciating. They want to, they want to the base. And he, he would tell me they want to take her bones out and put metal in is what he told me. He's like, oh my gosh. I said, okay, let's explore these other options. I said, cause there is the thing called the limitation of matter, but let's see. And he literally, so he, I gave him my information and then that was about it. I didn't really hear much from him. He, mm -hmm. he texts, he, he reaches out again. He says, oh my gosh. And I, I, I want to say it was maybe like six weeks, something like that, if I remember right. And he reached back and said, you won't believe it. My mom is washing clothes. She's <laughs> washing clothes right now. She's doing so well. Like the pain down her leg is gone. Um, she's washing clothes, but she can, she, like, she enjoys washing clothes because it's how she can serve. It's how she can love on my family. And he's like, thank you, man, so much. So then he came under care. Um, his wife uh, had really, really bad migraines. Um, their son, um, Abram, he also had some really bad, really bad stuff going on. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, and wife's migraines are gone. Life is back. She's feeling phenomenal. Um, so then his son, so this is several, several months later. Right. So he's been really trying to figure out what he wants to do because I'm the, the business will basically be his. I mean, multi-million dollar business. And he goes, He's just decided to become a chiropractor. I'm like, dang, I guess I'm bawling. And so, um, so he, so um, he's down here. Uh, he's down at uh, Univet uh, or no, he's, oh my gosh, he's been done, but this is where he, where he went. And just so amazing. Cause you never know, just like BJ says, right. We never know how far reaching, never know how far reaching the ripple effects can't be quantified, but where was, I mean, but it was, where, where was my mindset? My mindset was, you know, what you focus on grows right? What you put attention to. And my goal is I want to give, I want to pay attention to the docs coming in, love on them. And I want to give back to chiropractic. I, I could have my mind elsewhere. I could have been in the bar, you know, drinking my Dr. Pepper. I could have done whatever, but that's what was important to me. And docs, that's what's crucial for you is what you focus on. When, when I, when, just like Danny, does. Danny could give you thousands, not hundreds, thousands of examples of people he's coached. And they'll find, he's like, what were you doing the night before that day? That was really rough. Oh, you're binge fixing on Netflix. Like there's nothing wrong with Netflix. Mm -hmm. but you need to have moderation because what you focus on will manifest itself. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Danny, right now, if I tell you right now, Danny, drive down the road and tell me how many chiropractic offices you see between your office and mine. You'd be like, dude, 133, mm -hmm. 133, where you probably would have noticed it as much before. I know you would have, that's our focus. Mm -hmm. Well, what about your success? What about your mindset? What about all those things that help you become an incredible chiropractor or even greater chiropractor? And that's why it's critical to, to surround yourselves proximity danny and i believe this because i i am constantly reading danny stuff following danny we do you know <laughs> have uh, you know philosophy nights because proximity is one of the keys to success so the fastest way to get to any destination is to ask someone who's already there mm -hmm. for directions so danny i'm like danny how do you do this i'm like how did you do that how did you do the the, the boulder boulder how did you, i mean dude how did you bring in 80 patients like how danny's like oh here's how i did it just like that. Right. Um, I, I barely, rarely have seen someone when I've asked for help has said no. Now there's going to be a price involved because Danny can't give out of the abundance he doesn't have and vice versa. So Danny's like, Oh, absolutely. Like, Hey, here's what I do. You know, when I first started my practice, uh, or I apologize when I was first in practice, we almost starved. We were eating lentils. We were so starved because I felt wrong charging people to help them live a healthier, happier life to their optimal potential. I felt guilty. My mindset wasn't there. I now gained that mindset because like you said, it's the greatest gift we could ever give them. So that's that's uh that's kind of castle rock and mindset and everything in a little little nutshell. Right. And and see that's vital. What you said about BJ Palmer, you never know how far reaching what happens is magic happens when we all come together. Mm. When we collaborate, and so often chiropractors, you know, stay in their little corner of the world and don't interact with other doctors. That would not have happened if you hadn't been there, if you weren't being in a service mindset 
uh, all at that point. And then you have someone that's going to be in chiropractic school, is in chiropractic school, and then that's going to ripple in so many ways beyond. And we all need to do that. There's 7 billion people on the planet and there are not enough doctors of chiropractic Absolutely. to take care of them. So now tell us a little bit about how you have expanded your vision beyond the four walls of your practice. The, 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 the first key was finding, like we, we hire people, not positions. So I, I, we were, uh, we were getting ready to celebrate my son's birthday and I was opening my practice. I'd already had the perfect um, CA to join us who would then hopefully be groomed to be our office manager. And I was, I was like, I was just focused. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's perfect. Let's go to the next task. And it ended up, we went to, we we're going on a little family vacation to the Great Wolf Lodge, hanging out. And we we're going to go to, for my son's birthday. And uh, we went to Chick-fil-A. He's like, I want Chick-fil-A for lunch. We went there and the most incredible lady, um, I was blown away by her, um, just her presence, her sense of humor, her, I mean, just, she, she was the head lady there running the whole ship. She focused on me and was getting tons of stuff done. And I told her, like, hey, we're opening up across the street. We're neighbors. And she goes, you're the chiropractor? Are you hiring? What do you mean? As well, like my, my husband's a director here, and so I come to help. I, you know, I, I, this is my job, my top, my title. Um, but my my vision, my goal was I would love to work at a chiropractic office. I'm like, wow. Well, I said it's already covered, but why don't you come talk anyway? We're all we should you should always be hiring docs. So mm -hmm. we interviewed her, did our testing, personality testing, did everything. I'm like, dang, this lady's incredible. Well, let's bring her on just as a CA. Well, that very day in the evening, I get a text. Can we talk from the other lady? She's like. I just found out that they're enforcing my non-compete. Uh, I thought I was way outside the boundary, I'm like 20 miles, but there's like, he's got an attorney on this thing. I just can't work for you. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, best of luck to you. Appreciate your honesty and integrity. Hey, when this, you know, this, if this changes, come, come talk to us again. So we hired her. And the reason why I'm sharing that story is my team has been so critical in helping me expand. Magic happens in pairs of two, right? When you have like you and someone else. And then a doc and then another doc and then another clinic and then or whatever else you want to focus on. So not just hiring team, lead, uh, not, not that good team members, but creating leaders out of my team. Like right now, I, I just got our finance you know, report from yesterday. I'm like, dang, well done, guys. Mm -hmm. And my team is shooting things. Hey, doc, this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Don't respond. Enjoy where you're at. We got this. We got this. That's was that's that's been key for me is not just hiring good people, hiring and creating leaders and then holding their feet to the fire and giving them responsibility. But it also comes off of what they love to do. I have a CA right now who has said, hey, I, I she does not have to work. They're they're doing very well. Um, she was one of the CFOs for Habitat for Humanity. She goes, I love what I do right now. Please don't promote me. Like I love what I do. Like This is my thing. I'm like, awesome. What if I had a promoter? Right? Giving her more time, but going out of what she loves to do. So we ask everyone every year, we take a personality profile. What are you rocking at right now? We just found out one of our CAs is an incredible graphic designer, like mm -hmm. insane graphic designer. So she now does a lot of our other stuff. So it's the team, man, for sure. The team has allowed me to go to Mile High. The team's allowed me to go to the Berkshires. The team's allowed me to go to and, and do all these other things. Um, and just like BJ Palmer taught, it's given me perspective. Because BJ was in Africa and he's like, well, that's how I wrote these three books. I distanced myself because my, my, my life was here and I can't see, but I distanced myself. And now I have perspective. Like this morning alone, I can't tell you how incredible invigorating it was. I have about 176 tasks and I got almost every one of them done today of mm -hmm. everything because I'm, I'm away. Like, why couldn't I have done this two days ago? I was in the office and I had a couple hours here. My mindset was, it, I, I couldn't do it because of the perspective. So um, those, th those two things for me would be, uh, one of my keys to success and mm -hmm. to truly developing a place where you can actually have freedom. Uh, you can, you can go to events, you can speak at events or do the things you want to do, whatever that is, you can do it, but you have to have the right team of leaders to do it. Right. It's right. So you, you have found a team to be vital to your growth. Hands down. Right. Absolutely. What do you think you would have had as much impact thus far without a team? Absolutely not. No way. You can only right. run as fast as you can run, right? I, I, that's that's it. You can only run as fast as you can run. Um, if I were to give a second one for sure, it would be relational capital, proximity, being able to then learn 
and see what the successful people do and then implement it. Right. Uh, that's, that's what I've learned for sure. Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent. So now let's, let's shift gears a little bit. Um, tell us about share your experience as an attendee of mile high. It's, uh, I, it is a, like from your first time till now, like, cause I remember your first one, just, just your experience, you. Yeah, it, it was, um, here, okay, here, here's kind of a funny story. <laughs> what it felt like, it, it was such pure energy that I was, I was high. I mean, I was coherently high <laughs> and I couldn't sleep that night. I was texting my wife, emailing. I'm like, holy cow. Like, I say this all the time, but here's how Joe Arve said it. Mm-hmm. I think this way. And Danny said, oh, that's, that's phenomenal. Here's a different way to think of it. Think of it this way. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's even better than I thought I could have done. It, it was literally, um, it, it was a high. Um, I mean, it, I being able to, and, and there, there, there's this guy, he's kind of a big deal. His name's Liam Schubel. I don't know if you know him or not. <laughs> you, you may have a mug with his face on it. Um, I remember, so I had a, few a, a mug with his mug. <laughs> that's exactly right <laughs> so i i remember going to the event and my buddy was telling me like oh here's who's here's, here's who's going to be speaking and, and and i'll be honest because i had i was only following i was following who you know you can only you only know what you know right so mm-hmm. I, I was always reading studying and following the greats and following you know the the our fathers who and, and the giants who stood before us and founded the way to those now and i hadn't heard of liam Schubel. um i was like I don't, oh okay i don't know i'm like oh my gosh like that's a cool book. That's, I said, that's, I, you know, I read the book. I, I was able to meet Liam. I was able to meet several incredible people. And it was a high because I, I love chiropractic and I love that they love chiropractic. I love that they want to make it even better and all through and, and to grow their community and to change the world. And so that's what it was for me. I mean, I took a lot of people take 30 pages of notes at an event, but the fortune is in the follow up. They don't apply it. So you and, and, and some of the other mentors that I, that I've learned from have said, hang on, you don't have a day to follow up on today. You should be taking like next Monday, a couple hours off, you know, don't schedule patients right then, like plan an implementation day. And so um, that's, that's what I've been able to do so that I could then implement it. But here's the other part was letting my team know. So I would text my office manager say, Oh my gosh, say like, you're going to get probably swamped, but I'm going to have like a, like a mindset page, an implementation page, a marketing page, and I'm just going to start sending you stuff. And then we, we need to schedule a time to then just go over it. Now we do it as a team. I send individual team members, hey, look at this. This is how they keep their stats. I think that would be a little better than what we do. Hey, here's how they market this thing. Let's change it to that degree. What do you think? So being able to have accountability on that with good mm-hmm. people, like right now we're making flyers for a huge event we're having this month. We had a massive event last month. Another one this month, and she's on it. She's like, Doc, this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. I really like your implementation of this last note. Hey, and by the way, I think it'd be time to implement um, this other phase. What do you think? We're at that stage right now. Like, that would be great. Let's get it done. But my, my mind has now expanded to 10 other minds who are constantly looking to do the right thing and to grow us. And they get blessed too. We give massive bonuses in our practice um, for living our core values as a practice. Uh, for just doing awesome stuff. Um, so they, they're always looking to be better because they're genuinely, they're there for the right reasons. Um, and also because they get money for it. So it's, it's been huge. That's, I mean, that energy, I can't, I can't imagine. I, I've had that feeling before to a degree um, mm-hmm. in other settings of life, but I'd never had it at a seminar. I'd never had it. Um, I mean, I, I won't mention names. I've been to other seminars. We're like, Oh, that was cool. Like that was cool. Like I listened to Tony Robbins. He's, he's a mentor of mine. He's an amazing guy. And that's a fun thing, but it wasn't like mile high. Well, uh, you know, we, one of the things that I hear very frequently and you're a walking example of this. And I want people to know that, which is so often when I first put together the event, we, just had this idea that we had to actually get real chiropractic content into Colorado because there wasn't much. Like mm-hmm. it was everything from, you know, Department of Transportation physicals or whatever. And if you're right. into a thing, that's <laughs> fine. But there was nothing that was chiropractic. Um, right. and I thought it was content, content, content. I had to get the best speakers. 
so that we could launch this thing. But then I learned, and I know you you and I have talked about this, that actually people really wanted something else. They did like contact. They you wanted the best speakers, and the st- speakers that we have will be you know stellar, top notch. They bring their A game. They know they're a discerning audience. However, there's something else that happens, which is what I learned was they wanted camaraderie, they wanted community, they wanted connection, that that actually when they left, they wanted authenticity, that when they left, those were the things that they talked about. They didn't talk about um, Lee and Trubel's presentation, which I understand, but, <laughs> but you know, they, they talked about that, that the experience of having the camaraderie. Now you've noticed that too, yes? Absolutely. I, I, I remember it was interesting because you go to events where you get 50 people surrounding one person, like a speaker, like that happens, right? Mm-hmm. Almost every time. But it really blew me away that I would see you. I mean, I, could, I mean, because you're, you're the host, right? You're going around hosting being awesome, but you would give individual time, individual time. A lot of the speakers I want to speak to were at a table with four or five people and it wasn't just their buddies. They were doing one-on-one time and giving and serving. Um, that's one of the things that I've loved about this too is was learning that these people are accessible. As a, I used to think, although well, they're untouchable, you know, like they're just incredible. They don't have time for me. And then again, I would just go and ask. Right? I, I still remember meeting you for the first time, Danny. Um, so I, I knew who Rochelle was because I'd met Rochelle. I, I met Rochelle um, at my first seminar, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Rochelle, this is incredible. I'm like, I really want to meet Danny. Um, I've just heard so much, but I know he's going to be slammed. So maybe we can connect him, you know, in a couple of weeks or a month. And you were standing behind her talking to someone. She's like, Danny, come on over. I'm like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're Danny, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, just because I'd heard so many incredible things, but that, that's what I've also learned is, is that the, the most wealthy people, um, super successful people, wealthy minded people are accessible. They're accessible. And it's funny how I think the other way, like, oh, they don't want to talk to me. No, they want to serve. They want to give. And you see that unique to chiropractic, especially here in Colorado, especially at Mile High. You see that we want to give. Why? Because of what you and I just said and what several of us, uh, most of us want. We want you to be prosperous so that you can have the life you need and change the community that you're in. Now, I want to ask you another question. Before I ask you that question, if people want to connect with Dr. Jake Hansen, or learn more about um, how they can grow and, you know, from you, um, where, how would they connect with you? Yeah. Anywhere you guys consume social media. If you look up Dr. Jake Hansen, um, you'll see this guy. I think my, my, I think my picture is a blue suit. I'm in a blue suit smiling off in the distance like this. (laughs) Um, So yeah, Dr. Jake Hansen, wherever you consume social media. Um, And then uh, we do have a group uh, that, that we have and, and, what we want to do is we're giving, we're giving in that group and it's the, the chiropractor's edge. Uh, mm-hmm. So we have like our, we have our website, chiropractors edge.com or the chiropractors edge.com and on social media as well. And our goal is we, is exactly what Danny and I just said. You're, there's no, that, that is my, again, where I suffered originally as a chiropractor by not charging. I found that, okay, I, I have part, a huge part of my heart is giving back huge part. Mm-hmm. So I have other parts that bless our lives that for me is a give back, no strings attached. It's give back. That last year alone, Danny, so we did a poll. Uh, two of our team members helped with the poll. So we have about 1,300 people in our group right now. And I said, hey, question, how much did you make in addition this year in comparison to last year? 24 million in addition, addition, not total. I said, awesome. We teach about being able to take time so you can gain perspective right? Move. Go. I mean, even if you go to a cabin, even if you go in your backyard, but disconnecting, going to Cancun, whatever it is, um, how many additional vacation days have you had this year? Because several docs, as you know, Danny, again, they want to take a vacation, but they can't. Right. I, I love that about you. I, again, I, I, I always joke, or I, I just told Danny, I said, I'm, I'm convinced that he has cloned himself to 25 people. So I'm like, you were just on four podcasts and you were just on this. And now you're at the board meeting and now you're here. But anyway, but that's what Danny does is give. And that's what we do um, in our group. So um, that is our thing. We do, we do do some private coaching as well. I only accept a few at a time though, but I would, we're like a triage though. I'm going to refer you to go to the inner circle with Danny. I'm going to refer you to someone that I think, you know what? You're lacking over here. I'm not your right person for this specific thing. Cause it's like chiropractic. Hey, do you do this or this or that or this? I'm like, no, I don't. But let me, let me get you something like if, um, that really would help you in that degree if that's what you'd like. 
here's what we do. And here's why we see success. If you want to give us a shot, we'd be honored. So again, I'm not dissing anyone who does other stuff, but you need to do what you do best. And that's, that's, that's what we do here in our group. Right. Real. And that's vital. And again, you know, now collaboration can be virtual, can be many miles apart. And there was a while where that wasn't the case, but you have so many tools and resources to connect with other chiropractors now and to work together and to learn more. So here's the next question. And I held off on this and I want to make sure people realize that they can go into the chiropractor's edge to learn more about Dr. Jay Hansen and connect them more. Um, that's, that's vital. Now, here's the thing. Can you share a little bit about your experience uh, or any, maybe any stories about being an MC at Mile High? Oh my gosh. Talk about the inner circle. Um, just like anything, when you're super close to something and, and you're, that's where your focus goes, you grow, you grow a pretty deep love and affinity for it. Uh, being able to see how much has to happen for mile high. So my first year as an MC, I was, I was almost mentally like, Oh my gosh, like we have put forth what I'm going to put forth like a hundred thousand hours for this thing. Um, so it's all of that. And so there are hundreds of moving parts, if not thousands, so many things and big things that have to happen. And we've seen, oh, there's a, there's a pseudo crisis over here. There's this or this, and it always works out. And right. then all everyone sees is push play and let it ride. I have loved seeing how much uh, I, I've grown such an admiration. And so my mindset has changed around what, it, like when you show up to an event, and you see, oh my gosh, this flows so flawlessly. I love the speakers. Oh, hey, I love the venue. I love this. There's so many things that go into play. Man, these the vendors, right? I found incredible vendors who give back to chiropractic for equipment that I need, right? I don't give my business to anyone who doesn't. That's just what I do. Um, but to be able to find all of that, countless experiences. Um, um, and you, and you, oh, you, we, you have we, a lot of fun in, introducing people. I love that aspect. Um, before that, I was going to say, and with what happened to you, Dan, um, oh. with your heart and all of that, in order to be truly behind the vulnerable scenes, sorry, emotional, seeing you in a hospital, knowing that you had just done like 200 pull-ups that day and 10 <laughs> punches that day, and then I get a private message from Michelle, not on Facebook, I got a private message, Jake. This is what's going on with Danny. We love your prayers. And and uh, Danny's a doer. So I'm like, well, I'm going to pray for Danny. But what can I do for Danny? Mm -hmm. What can what do you need right now? Who, who's running your practice? Who's doing this? And I uh, went by your by your bedside. And by your bedside, you're doing mile, you're doing all things for mile high. <laughs> you're doing all this stuff. But you taught me incredible. You, you were able to show me, like, listen, I'm looking for ways. Like, they want me. They want me to have, you know, to do this. There's got to be another way. There's got to be something else to do. So we're going to possibly fly to like Cleveland. Or we're going to do this. We're going to. But you were always looking at like, what can I do? Like, my body knows how to heal itself, mm -hmm. right? And if there's a limitation of matter, then there's a limitation of matter, right? They, they caught something that was so cool because of chiropractic in your in your in your life. They had caught that condition that probably would have killed you as a kid, but they're like, how are you alive now? Like, how do you look like this now? <laughs> like, uh, chiropractic, right? In fact, you, you created a relationship with the, um, with your doc who he will not do any type of cardiothoracic surgery if they're not in chiropractic care. Right. So seeing those, like the relationships for me and, mm -hmm. um, in mile high has been so fun. Um, I, I remember, uh, Dr. Frank, uh, Vaught, oh, yeah. I had the honor to bring him on stage and he had written, like, and it probably was from like his CA or his office manager or his wife or something. They had sent like a page intro for him. And so I had reached out, I'm like, hey, you know, what would be the most important thing you want people to hear? He's like, you got this dog, you know, I'll let, I'll let you figure it out. And uh, right beforehand, um, so I had everything memorized, like of what I was going to do, how I was going to introduce him. We had had a lot of conversations. And then literally it came to me in just a flood. And it was like five seconds of pure power for what Frank was and brought him on stage. I mean, it was a standing roaring intro and then leaving. I mean, place shaking. Right. And afterwards he's like, dude, dog, I've never had an introduction like that. I, I never felt stronger. I never felt more like alive to do what I was going to do. And that invigorated me. He's like, I'm a, I'm a, 
I'm a big, powerful black man. I'm like, yes, you are. And he goes, I've never felt that way before. And, um, and that, for me, I was like, dude, that's, that's amazing. I get, you've been practicing a lot longer than I have and very successfully, by the way. So, uh -huh. so countless moments like that, being able to have one-to-ones with all the, being able to do the, um, the, the mile high podcast, introducing the speakers because it creates relationships and it inspires me to be even better. And there's times where I'm like, okay, I think I'm running fast, but I'm on a treadmill. I've had several of them like Jake, like, Hey, is there a better time that you could have done this podcast with me? Like, I appreciate your flexibility, but because I know I and I know I care to you in mile high, but we could have done this on an easier time. Like, is this middle of your your work shift? Like, I'm like, oh, you know, priority. But just seeing how grace, full of mm -hmm. grace, some uh, most of these uh, of our speakers are. But it has been incredible. But but first and foremost, most powerful is the camaraderie, brotherhood and sisterhood we have in the mile high MC team. I know for a fact that when it comes to credibility, guys, if I had if I had a hundred percent credibility, and I said. Hey, everyone from mile high, give me $5 million and I'll, I'll pay it back in a month, double. If I had 100% credibility, it happened, right? I feel you, Danny, had that credibility where you tell me, here's a, what do you need? And I know that whatever I, whatever I asked for, pretty much you would, you would give. That brotherhood and sisterhood is so powerful among us, the MCs and you and Rochelle and, and your family that you let us into. Um, but that's what you get uh, on this side of the line. It's, it's, it's been incredible. It's been invigorating. And while we have a big mission, you know, there's Huge. a big, so, and, and the world needs more chiropractors uh, and that's, that's for sure. And more chiropractors that are delivering, um, delivering real chiropractic. So, right. Um, and, and, and I really appreciate you taking the time from Cancun. How do the waves, <laughs> say it again? Okay. How do the waves look out there? Haven't seen them yet, <laughs> but it, it's okay. It's okay. We 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 will see them soon. Okay, okay. We got to make sure that happens. Send send me a picture to prove it. Okay, Jake. Oh, done. So I actually went to the beach today. I went to the beach and I was going to have a whole setup, and we could not get Wi Fi. I was like, all right, back in the hotel it is. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, and thank you so much for being part of Mile High, for be attending, for being an MC, for contributing this year and every year to, to the mission, and also for, you know, opening up to expanding beyond your office to impact more people with chiropractic and help other chiropractors impact more people with chiropractic. We are really, truly grateful to have you um, giving more and serving more. Thank you, Danny. I, I appreciate your brother. And, and again, you guys, you can have, you have everything you want in life when you know what your mission is. If you know what your mission is, your vision increases and everything increases to match your vision. So um, increase that, focus on it and bring in the right people and ask for help. Again, Danny, you, you're, you're 25 people running around. I'm still convinced, <laughs> but I know without a doubt, I can text Danny and Danny's texting back. I can talk to even Joel Kinch. That's a joke. I can talk <laughs> to Joel Kinch and he will give me serious advice. And, and it's usually, it's usually two to 10 words, yeah. but it's really impacted me. So that that's, that's what you words. can get when you come. Yeah. <laughs> two words. So we love the, my high team you guys. Proximity is king. Get to mile high, learn and grow to have the life you deserve and love. And I'll tell people, check out the Chiropractor's Edge. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, we're happy to serve, happy to help. Um, come with your questions and concerns. And again, if there's something that we can't do, we're, we're triage. I'm going to put you with the principal chiropractor who can help you grow to have exactly what you want and even more of it. Thank you so much for being part of this podcast, part of Mile High. Everyone who's uh, who's joining us today, make sure you hit subscribe if you did not already, so you always so you never miss any Mile High tick. And absolutely dial in to be on higher ground in September. There's no else, nowhere else you want to be September 2023 than on higher ground at altitude altitude for mile high 11. Yes, these go to 11, and we'll see you there. Rise up to mile high. Dot com. Keep changing spines and lives and minds with chiropractic.